I can't say I've ever interviewed anyone that looks like you before. <laughs> really? I've made a career out of looking at the weird and bizarre side of life. Uh, yeah. oh, it's quite a kick. So when I discovered a strange video online, I knew I'd found my next story. CET, Competitive Endurance Tickling Group, we got here. Competitive Endurance Tickling. <laughs> it was one of the strangest sports I'd seen. So I told Jane O'Brien Media I'd like to do an interview. Instead of getting a yes or no, I got this. Association with a homosexual journalist is not something we will embrace. Shame on you. Little gay Kiwis. Regards, Jane O'Brien Media. It was hard to take the insult seriously, considering the sport did seem slightly <laughs> gay. This tickling wormhole was getting deeper. I mean, obviously it's just for fun. Is it just for fun? It's tickling. You know, I was young at the time, didn't think nothing of it. And I was like, $2,000, that's gonna be cool. I mean, imagine being a teenage boy. She would just keep sending them whatever they wanted. She offered my one buddy a Chevy Cruze and $30,000. The money's endless. This tickling empire is way bigger than we ever imagined. They have tickle cells all over the US. They're everywhere. And at some point, these boys say, I'm done the thing that she hates the most was no. It was like a bomb went off. Your phone number and your personal information are entirely known and subject to publication on the internet. All hell broke loose. All of a sudden these videos are on YouTube, Vimo, and every other site you could imagine. Sending emails to the high school that I coach at. What do you think your mother's gonna think about this? <laughs> We're shooting a documentary. I understand it's, uh, what you think you're doing. If you want to stick your head in the blast first, do it. Jane O'Brien's a ghost. Okay, let's go. I'm breathing heavily. Yeah, Sam. <laughs> we could hear laughter coming out of the vents. We've been spotted. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs>